The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 830 AM, Tuesday morning. 60 minutes to go until the opening bell, and we got markets in negative territory to kick things off. S&P futures right now negative by about 12 points, trading at 32.19. NASDAQ futures negative by 55, trading at 10,620. Dow off 135 points, 26,349. We've got oil off about 10 pennies at 41.50. Ten-year yield back above 6 tenths percent, barely though, 0.60. 4%, the yield on that 10 year. We have the oil contract right now, as I mentioned, down about 10 pennies. And you have gold trading down $12 at 1918. We're going to start it off with gold. Why not? We got a lot of gold bugs out there, quite the run it's had up to 1974. But check it out, folks, from nine o'clock last night to in the span of about, yeah, that's 11 o'clock. You drop. $45, you make another drop and you touch the low. How about 1920 pennies, $75, just like that. You're going to see some volatility in gold at these pricey levels. Not quite to $2,000 yet, but still now we're $26 off the low at 1926.40 right now in those gold futures. Silver contract, negative 67 cents. You see the volatility in silver as well from 26.27. How about it, folks? We go from $26.27 and just like that, we're at a low of 22 Two dollars and forty-six cents. How about four dollars almost in the price of silver from about eleven? Now nah, we'll call it ten o'clock last night till three thirty in the morning. But since then we've bounced a dollar fifty. Twenty-three and eighty-nine the price of silver. As we mentioned, ten-year yield. Look at this action in notes and bonds. Right, the volatility last night. Note market, you trade to lower price of 139.08, and since then we're up a bit at 139.17. All right, and we'll jump right into it. Big week of earnings this week in the S&P. McDonald's out with their numbers this morning. 30% was the number that they decreased in terms of revenue. Down right now, you're trading down about five dollars from 201 to 196. We'll jump to the headline on McDonald's, and there's the. Excuse me. So revenue falls 30 percent despite progress at U.S. restaurants. U.S. same store sales shrunk, shrank 12 percent during the first two months of the quarter. Fast food chains like McDonald's, of course, recovering faster than the overall restaurant injury industry. Excuse me. Uh, drive throughs open, as we all know. Uh, you can get McDonald's on Uber Eats, DoorDash, those types of delivery services. The company will require face coverings inside all U.S. locations starting August 1st. Coming from Florida, folks, hopefully that curve is decreasing and hopefully masks can, can get that under control. So I like to see that. Uh, McDonald's expected. Uh, no, they are already reported. OK, so that's what they were looking for. Nonetheless, those numbers out. I think maybe this uh, I had this up early this morning. Um, Let's see if they have the numbers in here. Here we go. Earnings per share, they had 66 cents versus 74. Revenue, they actually beat it 3.77 billion versus 3.68 expected. Second quarter net income, almost 500 million. That accounts for the 65 cents a share, down from 1.52 billion or almost $2 a share a year early. You see how it eats into everything there, no pun intended. Uh, largest miss in more than three decades. The estimates covered a wide range, of course, estimates all over the place. Net sales dropped 30% to 3.77 billion. Global same store sales declined by 23.9. I mean, you look at McDonald's in context of the long run over the year, it's gotten back almost the entire loss from a price range of about 210 to 220. It was bouncing around pre COVID. You hit 124. Even this morning, we're going to open about 196. There you are, is the bar of 196 on this chart right now for McDonald's at 201.25. All right, we also have Pfizer, I believe, out with their earnings this morning. PFE is their symbol. We're up a bit. There's your long term chart for them. Talk about some volatility, of course. They're in the healthcare business, whether it's COVID, a vaccine, a treatment. There's the action on the short term. You see the volatility up to about 38.70 from 
and getting into Pfizer numbers. They upped their 2020 outlook after reports better than expected earnings. Net income fell to 3.43 billion in the quarter. They had made over 5 billion the prior year, but they raised their full year outlook expecting to earn between 285 and 295 a share. They were looking previously for 282 to 292. I mean, they upped it by three pennies. Uh, they're gonna generate between 48.6 and 50.6 billion for 2020. And uh, they had previously been at 48.5. So nonetheless, upping their ante this morning in terms of their outlook. 3M Profit, so they're out as well. Of course, the uh, maker of N95 masks and so forth misses as coronavirus crisis, crisis hammers sales. So industrial conglomerate 3M, they got a lot going on more than just masks, uh, unfortunately for their shareholders. Missed estimates for the quarterly profit and revenue on Tuesday. The worldwide lockdown slapped demand from most of the company's products, although a drop was cushioned by somewhat cushioned somewhat by strong sales, of course, for those masks. Let's see. It was on track to meet its target of doubling its global output of N95 respirator masks to 2 billion by the end of this year. The company's net sales fell to 7.2 billion from 8.2 billion. We'll jump over to their chart this morning. And there's the drop from 163 to about 158 so far on their earnings this morning. All right, jumping around to other stocks with earnings. We covered McDonald's, 3M, Raytheon out with their numbers as well. They earned 40 cents a share, well above the 12 the market was looking for. Revenue beat as well. Performance was impacted by challenges in commercial airspace. Yeah, I would say so, right? RTX, I believe is their symbol. There's Raytheon from about 61 up to 63. We're sitting at about 62.45, that conference call beginning right at 8.30 a.m. when we came on the air. We covered Pfizer numbers as well. Polaris, the recreational vehicle maker, they made $1.30 a share, more than double the consensus. Revenue also came in above forecast, uh, propelled by a 57% increase in North American retail sales. So recreational vehicles at a time when you're at home, you can't travel, you can't do what you might have been doing normally, so you go buy yourself a recreational vehicle from 97.97 last night up to almost 110. We're sitting at 103. This stock as well, look at that pop, from $37, and we're going to open at 103 this morning for Polaris. Some of these stocks, if you just figured out the trends of where things were going. So homemakers, uh, home builders, excuse me. Uh, D.H. Horton, out with their numbers, quarterly profit, 42 cents a share above the estimates at $1.72. Revenue also above forecast, helped by what it called increased buyer urgency due to low mortgage rates and limited supply. Uh, depending where you are, of course, but DHI, there's your chart on them. Now we're gonna open at 68.50 this morning from 25, these home builders. There's your volatility on their numbers and the conference call, same thing, starting pretty much right when we came on the air for D.H. Horton. All right, checking out the VIX this morning with a little bit of negative market action. S&Ps are negative by about 11 right now. The VIX has slightly elevated 25.56 right now. Looking at the 15 minute chart as we come into about 50 minutes until the opening bell. Gold contract, 1928, holding that bounce we had off about 1900, climbing up to where we were at about 530. Stay tuned, folks. We'll come back, see what else we have on tap for earnings this week. Fed week as well. Meeting starting today. Statement out tomorrow. We'll be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 866 476 the prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. S&P is negative by about 10. We got the NASDAQ futures negative by 40. Jumping around to other headlines, JetBlue out with their numbers. Swings to a quarterly loss as coronavirus drove, drove revenue down more than 90%, 9-0. So JetBlue, latest carry to post a quarterly loss and warn investors of a choppy recovery. I would say choppy, choppy recovery to say the least. That's that's a earnings call from an airline uh, trying to spin things the best way possible in the airline industry. The New York-based airline forecast third quarter revenue will likely fall around 80 percent on the year. Staggering when you look at where you know we're at 90 percent one quarter, 80 percent the other quarter. Air travel just nowhere near it. So the airline carried just 616,000 passengers in the three months ended June 30th, down more than 94% from the 11 million that JetBlue flew in the same period last year. So you, you, you have 11 million customers the prior year, and you have 600,000 for the quarter this year. Revenue plunged about 90% from the second quarter of 2019 to 215 million from more than 2.1 billion. You're taking in 2.1 billion in 90 days and you shave that off and then you're taking in only 215 million. I mean, 90 days, you're talking about, what's that? Two point something, 2.2, 2.1 million a day versus basically averaging almost uh, 20 to 25 million a day normally. So big numbers, there's JetBlue's action on their earnings. We're pretty much even from where we were, as this is pretty priced in on what's going on on these airlines. From $21 to six, we've settled at around 10, maybe up to about 11 or 12. All right, what else we got going on? LabCorp out with their numbers as well. It's a good time to be in a lab business. Uh, LabCorp quarterly revenue beats on higher demand for coronavirus testing. They also got almost $56 million in government stimulus, quite a number when you're beating revenues in huge ways, because uh, their numbers, I'm jumping around here, but they earned a 257 a share for the latest quarter, well above even the dollar they were looking for, okay? These articles jump around to some of the numbers that they list in here. They were processing 180,000, they are processing 180,000 COVID-19 tests a day, yeah, the company reported net revenue of $2.77 billion. The market was only looking for $2.5 billion. Uh, 
you know, part of that, the $56 million government stimulus. Now, you know, what is their symbol? Excuse me. L H. Yes, there it is. Lab Corp. So talk about a rebound from 98 to 201 short term this morning. We're trading higher 209. We almost made it to we're sitting at about 204 uh, for Lab Corp as they're trading higher as well. All right, Sherwin Williams. Tom and I always joke about it. My dad on our program, Sherwin Williams, paint it green. Well, Sherwin Williams, it's got some green paint for itself today. They made seven ten a share for the second quarter above the estimate of five eighty five a share revenue, slightly above forecast. Some of the company's markets were impacted. It did see an increase to do it yourself related paint sales as consumers stayed at home due to COVID nineteen. Again, you're sitting at home. Is it time to paint that house? Well, why not get on it right now? From six twenty-five, we're up thirty dollars right now to six fifty-five. Quite the pop on that stock, and talk about an acceleration, folks. We're going to open basically right in the realm of about a hundred percent pop from the lows it made of three twenty-five down from about six hundred almost, maybe five ninety pre-COVID. We're going to open about six fifty for Sherwin Williams. Man, you put it. I mean, talk about this run that it's had, and that is late twenty eighteen, early twenty nineteen. We started at about 371, you make it up to 600. COVID brings us all the way back to below those lows. And just like that, we're gonna open about 654 Sherwin-Williams this morning. So Intel, in the wake of uh, disclosing that they're not gonna be able to make seven nanometer chips until like two years from right now, uh, they are losing their chief engineering officer, leaving the chip maker just a few days after they announced those delays for the seven nanometer chips. He will depart on August 3rd after having joined Intel from 2015 from QCOM, Qualcomm. And Intel shares, there's a drop off for you. Now, this is a weekly chart we're looking at. You're talking about going back in Intel all the way to the beginning of 2018. How about like almost three years just like that? For reference, there's AMD's chart where the beginning of 2018, we were at $11 and we're going to be at 70 it's almost a seven bagger in AMD and Intel. You got nothing to show for it over that time. So not really surprising to see that going on. I mean, Intel, there's, there's articles being written saying, I don't know how they compete with AMD at this point when they're so far behind the game. So I don't know how they do that. Tesla getting a downgrade to underperform from market perform at Bernstein in a valuation call. The firm's price target remains at 900 a share compared to the close of 1539. Tesla, talk about some volatility. We're sitting this morning a little bit lower. There's your fully for a weekly chart. Here's the action this week down to 1366, I guess, last week. Yesterday's action climbing higher. Currently, we're going to be open a little bit lower at about 1514 in Tesla. Yeah, Garmin. So if you've been following this story, story Garmin, the victim of a hack, it appears. Uh, it could be a ransom hack where they're requesting $10 million is being reported. That would down. It seems that they've restored everything within basically now to the next few days following the cyber attack that took the systems down last week, I believe it was Thursday. Uh, when you see a company like this, folks, getting attacked, demanding ransoms, maybe it'll come out that they paid it. $10 million, not a lot of money. When you have a business like this, that's what hackers know. Garmin from 105 to 61, you see the volatility will put it just even on the last week. There's your volatility on Thursday action, the drop on that news, the drop again from Friday to Monday, but then somehow it charges higher. We're at about 100 right now on Garmin as well. All right, other stories we have going on. So Bill Gates out here. Um, Gates Foundation does a lot of great work with vaccines and saying there could be substantial reduction in coronavirus death rate. Um, you know, in terms of the treatment going on, and hopefully this is, you know, death rates, not what they were at the beginning. Uh, I was talking with someone yesterday saying, man, if Florida had the numbers like we had right now at the beginning, you probably would be maybe in New York, maybe in Italy. Thankfully, that's not the case. And hopefully it continues that way. And uh, therapeutic benefit faster than protective benefit, as in, you know, you can get some therapies to treat people a lot quicker than we're, we're going to be able to produce a vaccine for hundreds of millions of people. Uh, encouraging news. I like to see that. And hopefully that's how things continue. All right. Jumping over to yields. As we mentioned, yields sitting just at above six tenths percent. Checking it out right now. Oh, as I mentioned that yields now ticking below. We're sitting at point five. 9.4% on those yields, but talk about holding steady, right? Look at this chart. I mean, if you see, see this, this movement alone, a little surprising for the first time, we got some real action. 139.08, I say first time because a 16 tick move in this 10 year, 
when you see where we've been trading, we haven't had much movement basically away from this line of 139.22, the lower end of that about 139 flat, and we're sitting right near the end of it towards the upside, 139.19. All right, let's jump around to some of the FANG stocks as we await. Putting in a shorter time frame, Amazon shares at 3,048 right now. And I'm going to pull up earnings that we have this week, folks, because today is Tuesday. Here's what's coming down the pipeline. We've talked about some of these companies that had earnings already today. We'll jump over to Visa in a moment as well. Tomorrow, Facebook, Boeing, GM, GE, Qualcomm. And then on Thursday, the main course with Apple, Alphabet, and Amazon. Those companies alone, the three companies, they represent 13% of the S&P 500 market capitalization. We'll take a look at those companies when we come back. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006. And like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. S&P is negative by 10, just hanging around 32.20. We were as high overnight as 32.45. Last night seemed to be positive action. You get into about 11.30 p.m. Eastern time, and markets drop off a bit. We're now about 25 points off of that level. La Over in Europe, we get the DAX right now down about three tenths percent. FTSE flat, CAC roll down six tenths in terms of Asia, where we're at. Let me pull that up, jumping around to different markets. Nikkei down two tenths, Shanghai positive by about seven tenths percent in the positive. 
All right, other action we have going on. How about the start of a two-day Fed meeting? Their July meeting begins today, two-day policy meeting. No policy or rate change are forecast. However, central bankers are expected to reassure financial markets that they will continue to use their extraordinary programs to help the economy. At an interesting time, right, because we get the fiscal stimulus going on with Congress, that battle going on between Republicans and somewhat between Republicans in their own party, figuring out what they want. And then they're going to have to have neg negotiation with, negotiations with Democrats from there. And that CARES Act expiring yesterday. And uh, they have their own corona coronavirus relief plan having to do with 70 percent wage replacing replacement up to about $500 a week, I believe. Those details still to be ironed out, but that's going to play out in the short term. Head on over to the front page of TFNN, folks. Last week, you can get in as a charter member, save 50% Rockwood Equities and Options Report. I have a full weekly report out on Mondays, daily updates as well. Uh, check it out on the front page. Just enter promo code ROCKET at checkout. Choose the monthly, and you lock that in for as long as you remain a subscriber. It's a great time to Try all the services we have, folks. We got the opening call up there. Basil just did a webinar last week. Gold report. Great time to be in the gold market for sure. Excuse me. Okay, one final check in the markets as we round it out. And we got a treat, folks. We got our man Steve Rhodes. Come, he's going to be filling in for Larry next. So stay tuned for that. Right now, S&P is negative by 10. NASDAQ futures negative by 40. And as I mentioned, the real meat of it Thursday going on with Amazon, Apple, and Google Alphabet reporting Apple shares 378.60. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up next.